Large equipment comes with large price tags. Unfortunately. I got this alarm that keeps going off. And I gotta figure out what the heck this problem is. I, in the semi, I gotta get some beans loaded to the processor. Made it up here. I did get the soybeans finished. So the boys at the dealership call. They got a head I can use. It's a 30 foot, mine's a 40 foot. Uh, but it uh, won't be as fast, but any movement will be better than no movement. It's time to be getting on it and get my beans combined. Uh, it took me a little longer to get going than I really wanted to, but I went and picked up my children from school and I have them this evening. So we went home and we ate and then we loaded up in a pickup and we brought books and an iPad and another tablet to keep them in, to keep the boys entertained. And uh, it, uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, too necessary at this point. Uh, they both uh, they both are not interested in any of those things, but taking the time to feed them was probably well worth it. Had I not done that, it would not have probably gone well. So I hope they just keep, keep napping all the way there and all the way back, and we have a nice quiet ride, and I have a nice uneventful ride back with the uh, loaner head, or rental, I don't know, I guess he didn't really specify. I'm probably going to invest enough money in parts and labor in this thing that uh, I would hope they would uh, loan me one because jeepers, they told me what it was going to cost and it's, it's going to be kind of spending. More than, considerably more than what I was hoping. But, large equipment comes with large price tags. Unfortunately. Got the head back, got it on, cruising along. Uh, seems to be working pretty nice. 30 foot, mine is 40 foot, which means that uh, I can't, you can only cut it so fast. It seems to be working nice. But uh, it's it's not quite big enough to keep my machine, my combine, in full capacity. But uh, that's what we got to work with, and we're going to use it until we get mine back. And it sounds like mine has enough problems, I'm probably not going to get mine back before I get done which is unfortunate and also very expensive. I'm in the semi, got to get some beans loaded to the processor and all my help happens to be busy and unavailable. And I have one load left that has to get up there. So I'm going to take it myself. I haven't been in the semi since, uh, since I broke my leg. But I am now moving. So evidently, uh, it didn't kill my leg to hit the clutch the first time, and hopefully I uh, get lucky at all the intersections and don't have to actually stop. I can do the rolling stop, and there's a reason trucks do that. It saves fuel, it saves time, it's a lot easier on equipment, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I get lucky and get to do that today. Here's open. Made it up here, all the way to St. Jenna. They're, uh, they're unloading the truck. They don't want me to get out. Something about I'm a liability with crutches and all that jazz. So they're unloading the truck for me. Which is just fine. It's a lot of work crawling in and out of the truck. That's the hardest part of doing this. Clutch, yeah. I'm not quite ready to do this all day every day. But I can drive it a little bit. I just gotta be careful. It's a little hard on my leg. Got to strengthen my leg back up, and then we'll be good to go. One step at a time. Felt good to drive it. Felt a little bit of accomplishment. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice to go out and do something. Make some progress. These guys look confused on my uh, electric hoppers. Thought I got it explained, but they also want to get it set just so. So they're trying to get it all set. It's kind of fun watching. I'm just glad they're taking my beans. Been working pretty good, but I got this alarm that keeps going off, and I gotta figure out what the heck this problem is. So that means I gotta get out, and check a bunch of sensors on the feeder house 
and potentially on the head. And I gotta use my crutches. So that'll be fun. Ah, uh, 2020. Well, I checked that little guy right there. That sensor it goes off that. That's the tilt sensor for the head. That appears to be like it should. And then I went over to the other side of the combine. You can't see it, but that long arm. Let's see. Yeah, the long arm there towards the bottom. Right there. To there. That's the other sensor. And I checked it. And on the other side of that brass piece is the actual electronic sensor and everything. All the connections appear to be good. All the wires appear to be fine. So I don't know what the problem is, but it's driving me crazy. So I hope unplugging and plugging it back in fixed it. Maybe there was a loose connection. I don't know. But it's driving me nuts. I don't have much left on beans and I would love to finish and be be finished because it's dark I'm tired and I'd like to move on all right I got out I checked the sensors everything looks fine I unplugged them I plugged them back in that's like everything electronic that's what you do just try it so I'm firing it up turning the head on turn it on the auto height control auto auto header height control and the auto tilt control or whatever we call it Away we go. And if this doesn't work, it's gonna drive me insane. My goal is to be over half done on this farm tonight. It's 77 or 78 acres. I've done 33. I've got plenty of truck space to do this. The weather's bright. I, I need to keep going on this. I want to get two trucks full and maybe the grain cart. And I just hope this all holds together uh, so I can get that far. Tomorrow morning, I need to go to physical therapy because that's working well and I, it's doing me a lot of good, so I need to make sure I keep that up so I can heal my leg. I went to the surgeon today for my second follow-up post-op. They seem very happy with my progress. I've been doing all my physical therapy and I seem to be healing quite well. They said I can start putting weight on it next week. They didn't think I should this week. I didn't ask why they're, they do that, so that's, they're the expert. Uh, they thought I'd done really well following all the directions. You know, they said no heavy equipment, so I haven't been doing any operating of heavy equipment. You know, combine's not heavy equipment. We're not going to count that. And I've been very careful getting in and out, not using my bad leg, and hopefully this is all turn out well and uh, I can get back to exercising and dancing a jig and all that fun stuff. I made one trip across the field, reset it, it started going off again so I shut it off and turned everything back on and I got a fourth of the way across the field. Uh, God, I can't stand this damn beeping. It's driving me nuts. I wish I knew what was causing it. Uh, I'll have to dig into that tomorrow. This is driving me crazy. Well, it's now, I believe it's 11 o'clock. I've gone as late as I think I should. Uh, I got a broken section I need to fix. It's not cutting right in that spot. And I got a broken guard. I need to change that in the morning. And I think I need to tighten the right side of the draper belt. It's starting to slow down kind of in an odd way. So I got a couple things to do. I don't have enough room to just finish it. So I just will quit and do it tomorrow in the daylight instead of in the dark because that's when bad things happen after dark. You know, nothing good ever happens after midnight. We're coming up on that. Hopefully we finish beans tomorrow. Fingers crossed. That, that doesn't look right. Huh. That is supposed to be on the combine. That's uh, not supposed to be there. Huh. That's probably why.
I did get the soybeans finished. Now I got switched to corn and we're working on that. Uh, we got the bean head taken back to Robinson's. A lot of thanks to them for getting me one to use while they were working on mine. And now we're just going to focus on getting the corn knocked out and get as much done as we can. Uh, I got into the corn a little bit. The corn's super dry. So, I don't know, yield's still not very good. But we did a little maintenance on the combine. Uh, stuff we'd been kind of putting off till we got done with the beans. We got that done. So now we should be good, hopefully, for uh, quite a while on the soybeans. And on the corn, we can get, get going. Fingers crossed.